I'm a dancer who can communicate globally. You know, I'm a choreographer who, who tackles and deals with issues that are not only affecting South Africans, but uh, the world, social issues, issues of power, you know, what is happening in our country. And we shouldn't be scared of talking about such. If we're going to bring lives in this world, if we're going to have kids, and then we lose hope, then what role are we playing? I was born in the Val Triangle. Uh, it's an area that is a little bit unresourced, but it's, got, it's, full, it's filled with talent, a lot of talent. My first experience with dance, uh, I think I was in secondary school. Uh, there was a group of uh, guys who came through to do a play. But within that drama that they were showcasing to us, there was a little sequence of dance in it. And I think it was the most catchy part for me. Then I was like astounded when I saw it and I was like, ah oh, man, I need to join these guys. Other guys would be playing maybe basketball, soccer and all that, they'll make fun of us and you know, call us Sarafina boys, such things, you know what I mean? But um, that didn't get into me because when I started dancing, I, that's when I found so much happiness, so much comfort. You know, it became therapeutic in a way to me as a young boy growing. My first dance, contemporary dance teacher, Wendy David, taught us more about choreography, taught us more about contemporary dance, jazz and all that. I felt like, you know, I was at the right place, you know, because everything now was coming together. I think I love telling stories. I think I love um, changing people's perceptions. I think I like being thought-provoking with the ideas that I share with people. When I'm an artistic director, yes, I'm directing, but whatever that I'm directing, they're giving me back something in return, you know what I mean? When I teach, it's the same thing. I discover things, I learn things. Oh, okay, this is how I was teaching her this, but then this is how she interprets it. When I create work, I give maybe a certain phrase, and then I give a certain idea and say, let's run with it. And out of that, dancers, they believe so much in what I do, and they just take it uh, and, and make it something beautiful. And sometimes it becomes something that I never even thought of. A lot has inspired me. Uh, people around me, especially the dancers that I work with, they inspire me so much. Um, my wife, my kids inspire me so much. And there's a, a specific person who's been a mentor and a brother to me, who is Gregory Vuyani Makoma. Uh, the man inspires me in so many ways than one, and he, he allows me to be me. Firstly, to the National Arts Festival in Grahamstown, I would love to thank the festival and the festival organizers for giving me hope. To the Standard Bank, thank you ever so much. I own a house through Standard Bank. <laughs> and now I'm part of the Young Artist Awards that are representing South Africa and good art in our country. Thank you.